It's the moment every aviation YouTuber dreams of, being recognized on frequency and given a shout out. Are you tucking behind you, turn four zero two at Lake Long? Badger pilot. Then again, it probably doesn't count when the guy calling out your channel is the same person you're meeting for breakfast. Clear prop. No one left, no one ahead, no one right, and I can't see behind. Spring of 2024 in Wisconsin was a wet one, with rain seemingly every day. Thankfully, we were able to find a rare, sunny Saturday morning to go flying. My wife joined me as we flew to Lake Lawn Airport to meet our friends Ed and Caitlin from the Flying Stampede for breakfast. No one on final, no one on base, no one downwind. Capital Drive, Captain Church, 95402, taking off runway 3, left downwind, departure to the south, Capital Drive. There you go. Ready? Alright. Alright, take off power set and achieve. We're coming at 2300, airspeed's alive and climbing. Temperature's green, fuel pressure green, oil pressure green. There's 50. 60 before the grass. And rotating by the intersection. A lot of swampiness down there. Yeah, that was a ton of Clear of the trees, storing to 85. Turkey 905402, just off capital, we'd like to transition to the southwest. The static you hear in the first second of my transmissions was only interfering with my internal audio. When I went back to listen to live ATC online, everything was coming across clearly. So it seems to be just an isolated issue for this flight, and I haven't been able to recreate the noise since. So for now, I just did my best to clean it up for the video, and I'm continuing to fly with no communication issues of note. Were you able to see our house? I think so. Okay. Would you like to fly? No. It's all yours. No. Keep our wings level. No, I don't want to. Okay. That's it at least. Okay. Are you doing okay? Yes. Alright, so when we get close, we're going to kind of offset off to the right and keep the airport on our left and do a 180 to turn around and spin back at it. Is that how they're landing today? Yeah, they're landing to the north. There's two other planes in the pattern that we gotta look out for. If you look out here, let me know. Let me know if you see something that looks like a resort, but that's Delavan Lake. And we're on the north end, so the close end here. Oh, uh, it's also a golf course, right? Yeah. I think I see it. So you got the lake. That's that. I got the airport. North of 3000, we'll look for you and tuck it behind you, turn 402 at Lake Long. Badger pilot. Safety traffic, Husky, left on one runway. Traffic, 
Roger, 7 4 the kilo, we're uh, like 5 to the east, we're going to have northbound or make our way in for 3 6, Lake Long. Lake Long, traffic here, 5402, entering 45 to the left, down on 3 6, we'll stop Lake Long. Fox Ferry traffic system 484 Echo Romeo, currently 4.5 miles northwest. Hey guys, we're on a good tank, undercarriage is down and loaded, mixture is rich, pump is on. I got the traffic out there. Over the lake. Yep. We'll extend it out a little bit. Echo Romeo, currently three and a half miles northeast of the airport. Alright, here we go. Fifteen hundred, under one fifteen, flaps ten, pitching for eighty five. Lake Long, uh, traffic, uh, line four six one now, Bravo Charlie is missed, going around. Lake Long. They missed it? No, he he's practicing missed approaches, it seems like, or go arounds. Oh. Uh, 5402, left base 36, full stop, Lake Lawn. As we go over water and land with the different thermals and everything heating, it'll be a little bumpy. We're actually going to stay a little high, number one, because of the water, but number two, more importantly, the trees. Mission fuel undercarriage down, welded, mixture is rich, parking brake is off, pump is on, switches are on, seat belts are on. Alright, we're high. Runway's made. Watch out for that bird. Get out of the way. Bird, thank you. Okay. We're all right. We would have just continued to land anyways. Okay. Yeah, at that point it wouldn't have been... At that point it would have been... would not have been safe to try and climb over it, because then if we hit it... Now we're unstable, it's better just to hit it and let the engine die and continue to glide down as opposed to try and climb over it and then hit it and the engine dies and now we're too high to make the runway. We taxied to the ramp and watched Ed make an absolute greaser of a landing, which I'll show in just a minute. After we shut down our planes, we walked across the street to the Lake Lawn Resort, where we enjoyed a delicious breakfast at 1878 on the lake. We were treated to a beautiful view of Delavan Lake and even watched a few planes fly overhead on approach to the same airport that we had just flown into. Ed and Caitlin made a video on their channel about tips for flying with your significant other as they flew to meet us for breakfast. I encourage you to check out that video on their channel, The Flying Stampede. Speaking of more Wisconsin Aviation content, a friendly reminder that I'm on Patreon. Patrons receive perks like bonus videos, behind the scenes content, and more. If you enjoy my content, I encourage you to go check it out. 
It wasn't long before Ed and I got back together for breakfast. In my next video, I'll fly to Racine for my first ever pancake breakfast, with a challenging gusty wind landing to get there. That video is coming soon, but until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on The Badger Pilot. Two, three, four, and five. Are you going to push it back? What's up? Are you going to push it back at all? Yeah.